Hey, welcome to WDTN.com. Thanks for clicking Booker's Beat. This is an exclusive story right here on Booker's Beat at WDTN.com. We have the raw food chef, Andrea Cox, with us. And you're going to make a smoothie. But before we talk about this, explain to the folks about raw food. What exactly is that? What do you do? What do you make? Raw food is live food. I, I like to say live food, live body, dead food, dead body. So if you feed your body live foods, you have... Longer hair, thicker hair, better yeah. skin, teeth, nails, everything. And you were sick, right? And then mm -hmm. you said, I'm going to heal myself by raw foods, and you did. I did. I did. I got sick. I had hypothyroidism and gained a lot of weight mm. and went on a living food way of eating, and it's, it just tastes good. We're going to make rock and raw nog today. It takes like three minutes. So anyone who says raw food takes too long in the kitchen, they're wrong. Yeah, there you go. They, people do say that, don't they? Oh, that's too long. Go uh, yeah. heat something up in the microwave. And this recipe is in my book, which can be found on my website, thehealthyhaven.net. And there the book is. is called Rawlicious Recipes. How many recipes do you have in there? Um, I have over 100 pages of recipes, so mm. I'm not sure the exact count. But and I bet you just feel better, don't you? Just feel better. Yeah, you just have more energy. You get out of bed at like 6 a.m. and want to go run and wow. feel good. So what we have here, we have coconut milk by a company called So Delicious. Mm -hmm. It's unsweetened. I personally make my own coconut milk, but this is good in a pinch. We're going to do one cup of coconut milk. Because we're making this especially for Booker. Well, you know. Unless Mike wants some. A little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of nutmeg. And I don't measure. I don't like yeah. to measure a lot in raw food. Um, well, one, good chefs do that, don't they? They just kind of throw stuff in there. Yeah. One tablespoon of raw almond butter. Ooh. And you've got to like when the oil sits on the top because that's good healthy oil Ooh, for your that. skin and your hair and your nails. And then what we have here are dates. And dates are a sweet fruit. We're just going to put in three dates for book right now. Mm. And you want to pit the dates because the pit inside the date, my hands are clean, dear. You, you want to take the pit out of the date. You don't want to eat the pit. It's like a little seed. So you can't grind that up in there. Mm -hmm. huh? okay. Do you like sweet food? Because maybe two would be enough for you. I'm a, yeah, well, you know, I'll, if it, like I said, if it tastes good, Book eats it. Finally, we put in the maca, mm -hmm. and I don't measure maca. Maca is so good for the hormones, and it's kind of got a butterscotch flavor. <laughs> This is so good. It's going to taste like butterscotch. Look at that. Ooh, that's got a nice color to it, too. Yeah. It's just really thick and good, and maca is so, you're going to feel good all so day. So the maca makes the difference? The maca makes the difference. It's going to be a little thick. You might not like, I don't know. Some people like maca, some people don't. That's really good. No, really, honestly. Honest to Pete, it is. It's really good. Try that at home. <laughs> you try that at home? What it tastes like butterscotch. It's really healthy for you. You know, and I bet that would fill you up. It does. Really, it? If I drink that, I can go about my work all day long and not eat until dinner. And that took how long? That was like a, a minute and it a half. To a, make and all of two minutes, yeah. Mm. That's really good. And that recipe's in the book. It's called Rock and Raw Nog. All right, well, we appreciate you sharing the recipe. Nice to see you again. And before we go, talk about the Food Network show. What's happening with that? Are you on? Are we no. helping? Should we get, do I need to make calls? You do need to make calls. I'll do it. I'll do you it. You do, because I've done nothing yet. So you need to make calls. Oh, look, all dirty. Oh, we have, oh I can't show the blue. We got, well, that's, every, every good chef makes a little mess now and then, right? There we go. All right, continuing success to you, young lady. And maybe we'll see you again. We'll share some more recipes. Thank you, Boo. Jim Booker for WDTN.com.